Welcome to Yokoji Zen Mountain Center. In this instructional video, I'll be describing the basic techniques, including posture and breathing, for the practice of Zazen, of seated meditation. This is the iconic full lotus posture. You can see here that the right foot is placed on the left thigh, and the left foot is placed on the right thigh. It forms a very stable triangle with both knees and the bottom touching the ground. Don't worry if you can't manage to sit in this posture. Many of us can't. This is the half lotus posture. You can see here that the right foot is placed on the left thigh or alternatively the left foot is placed on the right thigh. This is also a very stable posture for the practice of Zazen. This is the quarter lotus. Here, the right foot or left foot is placed on the calf. This is commonly called the Burmese posture, where one foot is placed in front of the opposing leg. A lot of Western practitioners of Zazen are able to sit in this cross-legged posture. In all cross-legged postures, it's important to switch the legs out in order to maintain symmetry in the body. For instance, if you sit a half lotus with the left foot up on the right thigh, alternate your sitting periods by placing the right foot up on the left thigh. A popular alternative to cross-legged postures, this is the kneeling position, also known as Caesar. A practitioner can use a bench or a cushion to achieve this posture. Zazen can certainly be practiced in a chair. Extra care should be taken to be sure that the feet are firmly planted on the ground and also that you don't slump, especially in the lower back. For the regular practice of Zazen, it is very helpful to set up a permanent spot for your practice. This should be in an area where you are unlikely to be disturbed for your periods of meditation. The mat and the cushion can remain in the same place. Perhaps you would like to set up an altar. Many people like to use a Buddha figure, perhaps a vase of flowers, or anything that you consider sacred. When beginning the practice of Zazen, it's very helpful to begin with a checklist. We want to make sure that we can maintain a comfortable and stable posture. Before beginning the practice of Zazen, be sure that you're wearing comfortable clothing and arrange your cushion on the mat Arrange your legs, either in the full lotus posture, half lotus, quarter, Burmese, kneeling, or sitting in a chair. We can begin by straightening the spine. A way to achieve this is to sway gently from side to side and then come back to a center point. Take a breath in, filling the chest with air and pulling the spine straight. You'll notice that a straight spine actually curves in at the lower back. Please be sure not to slump or overarch forward. The head should be straight, not tipping from side to side, and also not leaning forward. The chin should be tucked in slightly. A very common question that people have when beginning the practice of Zazen or seated meditation is what do I do with the eyes? In the practice of Zazen, we sit neither with the eyes fully closed, which can tend to bring on a dreamy state, or to have them fully open, as we can be distracted by our environment. Experiment with having your eyes half closed, cast downward at a 45 degree angle. You can try to bring a soft focus into the eyes so that you're not staring at anything in particular. The mouth should be lightly closed. The tongue can rest against the back of the front teeth. This creates a slight vacuum, which really helps with not producing a lot of saliva while we're sitting. This is the cosmic mudra. You can see here the right hand is placed palm up, with the left hand laid in the right palm. Thumbs are arched over and lightly touching. It's very important to make sure your body is arranged the way you want it to be for the whole period of Zazen. Try not to move around unless you absolutely need to. If you do need to move, do it quickly and quietly. 
It's better to maintain stillness throughout the period as much as possible. When ending a period of Zazen, please take care to be gentle with the body. You can begin by swaying lightly from side to side. Notice any pins and needles or dull aches or pain in the leg and then take extra care to move very slowly before standing. How do we work with the breath during the practice of Zazen? Well, we don't try and make the breath do anything in particular. The breath will naturally lengthen and soften during meditation. But as a guiding rule, we let the breath really do what it wants to do. Beginners to Zen practice and the practice of Zazen often start with breathing practices to focus on during the sittings. The first of these practices, very common, is to count the breath. How do we do that? Well, in counting the breath, we do just that, but on the exhalation only. For example, we would inhale and then inwardly, as we exhale, we count the number one. For the next inhalation and the next exhalation, we count the number two and so on, three, four, all the way to 10. When we get to 10, we stop and come back to one. If we find that perhaps we're on number 25, then don't worry, just come back to one. Also, if we forget what number that we're counting, we just begin again at one. For the practice of Zazen, we usually breathe in and out through the nose. The only time when this would change would be if our nose is blocked. If that should happen, then it's okay for a short period to just breathe through the mouth. If we have a cold or a runny nose, then it's fine to keep a tissue in your hand and just dab at your nose as needed. We hope that you've enjoyed this instructional video and find it helpful and that you're encouraged in your practice of Zazen or seated meditation. For more information, please visit us at zmc.org. We offer a wealth of programs here at Yokoji, all the way from beginning classes every Sunday morning through to seven day retreats and intensive 90 day training periods. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.